The pumpkin patch pinball game is a great activity to get kids learning about forces, including gravity and friction. You can head over to the Three Ducks website um, to find all the materials that you're going to need for this project. And if you don't have Three Ducks materials, um, I have substitution so that you can do the project either way. So your students are going to start by painting the box top um, with whatever decorations they want because we're going with the Halloween theme. We need a haunted house for this project. Once we're done decorating, we're going to flip over the box and measure out um, the distance based on how big the characters that you used are. Ours are two inches, so we separated ours by two inches. And you might need to help your students um, poking holes in the cardboard at each one of those locations. After your students are done with that, they're going to poke a variety of holes in random places um, along the rest of the box. Um, that will be the locations where um, the cardboard slopes are gonna be placed. So um, don't have them go crazy making a million of them. Um, I put like five or six in hours. They don't have to use all the holes also, so if they did put too many in, no worries, they don't have to use each one for a separate slope. Twisting the scissors a little bit to make the holes a little bit bigger is always helpful. You can use a knife for that too. After we're done doing that, we're going to put our three ducts connectors in and create dividers. Cut out the little monsters and um, place them in so that these are like, you know, the slots. If you don't have three ducks connectors, you can just use tape to, um, to separate these little characters into individual slots. Then higher up on the board, your students are going to put more of the connectors and attach um, cardboard slots. Ours are about one and a half inches deep by about three inches long, but your students can vary them however, um, however they want. The nice thing about the three ducks connectors is that you can easily put them in and rotate them for different angles during play. Um, but we do have an alternative if you don't have the three ducks products. So assuming that this is the back wall um, to the cardboard box, you can use a little metal fastener. You're going to slide that through. Um, so this would be the back of the box. This would be um, the front where the decorations are. And you can take um, one of your pieces of, you know, your cardboard um, slots. You're going to take the, the paper fastener and you're going to um, hold it together. And your students can literally slide um, their piece of cardboard in place. Now it's not super duper sturdy, um, but it will, it will suffice for this project. You can always put a little piece of tape on the back that will um, solidify it, although um, it'll still allow a little bit of movement. So if you don't have the three ducks connectors, um, your students can do this as well. Once your students are done with that, it's time for them to put the slots in place and start by angling them however they feel like they want to. They'll be able to change that along the way. Lastly, you're going to need to have a hole for the pumpkin drop-in. So we have that in the middle at the top of the box. We left a little flap there so that it makes like a nice little slide for the pumpkins. And once that's done, it's time for your students to play. Um, so by changing the angles of the different slots, um, they can help direct their pumpkins to go in all different directions. If you're currently on the Three Ducks website, you should be able to find another video that talks about forces including gravity and friction. If not, you can find it at www.3ducksdesign.com.